Fun fact, I just recorded this entire video without the microphone plugged in. So now we're going to have to redo all of this. fantastic. I just wanted to address the cliffhanger that I left you guys on in the last vlog. So yes, I'm here in New York City and I've got a full-time job and I'm loving it. It's been absolutely a phenomenal experience. I just wanted to provide you guys with that little bit of context that I left out on the last vlog and so we're going to address that here today. So first off, who have I been working for? I've been working for Social Chain Group. They're a social media first marketing agency. And essentially what that means in English is that big companies come to us and they say, hey Social Chain, we know you guys are super young and you're super disruptive in this space and we want you to do something really phenomenal for us on social media. We do a plethora of different things for them and I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty details. Basically we do all sorts of ad campaigns and advising and consulting and instructing and we work with influencers and we basically provide a whole suite of marketing tools on social media and we're the best at it in the world. Now for my role more specifically, I got hired as the creative executive, which I know sounds very, very professional on paper. Really when you dumb it down, my sole purpose here is to be creating content for the CEO and his personal brand. His name is Stephen Bartlett, and if you've never heard of him, I'll link his stuff below and I'll probably throw a picture up of him right here. He's a phenomenal guy, okay? He's super smart, super personable, and he knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to social media and marketing. Where he needed a little bit of help, was growing awareness about his name and his own personal brand outside of Social Chain. Because in turn, when people know about Steve Bartlett, they know about Social Chain. Steven recently moved from Manchester, where Social Chain's HQ is, here to New York City because we have a branch in New York City, and he wanted to be here to help nurture it along. So in coming to the States, he no longer had anybody to document his process as a CEO and to be producing content for his own social media. And that's where I come in. I was brought on specifically to create content and to curate his social media pages. And I have loved absolutely every minute of it. We're currently producing a weekly vlog that goes up every Sunday on his channel. If you've seen those, please leave us some feedback because we would really love to know what you're thinking and what could be done better, or feel free to leave it for me on here. And also make sure you're following him on all sorts of other stuff because he really is a smart guy and he posts a lot of great stuff that's... Can you hear that truck? I think it's gone. But he really is a smart guy and he knows exactly what he's talking about. And he talks about a whole lot of other things outside of social media that are very relevant to a lot of people my age. The offices are absolutely incredible. The one in New York City that I work in specifically is on Fifth Avenue, right where all the shopping goes down in New York. So it's super busy and super fun. And it's only two blocks down from the Empire State Building. <laughs> Now the office in Manchester is a whole nother deal. They have a slide, they have a room designed to look like an old cabin, they have an entire section of the building that's designed to be a jungle with foliage and the bird sounds and everything. They have one wall that's been transformed into a train so it has private meeting rooms and phone call rooms. There's a full kitchen, there's a full bar, and there's a full suite of studio space. Did I mention that we have a slide over there? We have a slide. There's a slide in the office. And there's also seven to eight dogs in that office, which I know you think, isn't that a little distracting? But no, it's absolutely awesome and everybody should do it. And so that's where I've been for the last week and a half to two weeks. I've been working for about the last week. The fun's already getting started. The company is sending me to Manchester this evening. My flight leaves JFK at 9.30 and I touch down in Manchester 3 or 4 a.m. Eastern time, which is which I believe is like 9 a.m. in Manchester. Steve's there for two weeks, so I'm just gonna be running around filming him, going to all the meetings and the talks and everything pretty much. And then uh, I think we might be flying to Miami after that. There's a lot of cool opportunities for me at Social Chain and, and one of them is getting to travel a lot. So um, super excited. I've never been to the UK before, so this will be a first for me and um, it's going to be fun.
this job is that I get to go wherever Steve goes. So if he's in New York, I'm in New York. If he leaves and goes to the headquarters in Manchester, I'm in Manchester. If he goes to London, I'm in London. Because the nature of my job is to document everything that he's doing and why. And so I get to travel a lot with the job and I love it. And you might be thinking that's a little crazy to have just moved to New York City and then spent two weeks in Manchester and then flown back to New York City, but I, I've absolutely loved every single minute of it. That was one thing that I hated about school, was that it was a constant... This is the one downside to apartments in New York, is that you can't really film anything without it being really loud. The one thing that I really hated about school and just could not wrap my head around was the routine. I was constantly up at the same time, constantly doing the same thing every single day, and then maybe something a little bit different on the weekends, only to jump back into that same routine on Monday. And that, personally, was just not for me. When it comes to doing something like this that's full-time, and I'm constantly busy, and I'm constantly having to find new ways to produce content on the same exact topic, I I've loved it. It's been an incredible challenge, and I've gotten to do and see so much and I haven't been in a routine and that's really all I can ask for out of life right now. So I hope that sums up a little bit about my job. Just a few side notes that I wanted to talk about. The way this vlog was shot today is going to be how a lot of the videos coming in the pipeline are shot. Mainly just because, like I said, I follow Steve around all day and I'm filming him, which means I don't have a whole lot of time to be filming and documenting my own day. But with that being said, I do get a little bit of b-roll that I can throw into my vlogs without taking anything away from Steve's channel. Some of my videos that I shoot from, from here on out are gonna be done kind of in, in this fashion, just because it's way easier for me to do this than have to document Steve and me at the same time and without getting in the way of documenting Steve. So if you like this format, let me know. If you hate this format, please let me know. Like I said, any of your feedback is great in the comment section below. I'm also looking into ways that I can reward you guys for sticking around all the way through the end of the video. So if you have ideas there, that would be awesome as well. And then lastly, if you like this video or any of my previous videos or you think I'm going to post something cool in the future, please remember to stick around and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you click that little bell icon, that will notify you anytime I post so you won't miss anything and might not miss any rewards that come in the future. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.